Good day to everyone. I am Christian Marlopiscos, a grade 12 STEM student, and I am here to discuss about the quantitative research. Quantitative research is a research method that involves collecting and analyzing numerical data to answer research questions or test hypotheses. It involves designing a study, collecting data through surveys, experiments, or observations, analyzing the data using statistical methods. The results of quantitative research can be used to make generalizations and predictions about the population. There are different types of quantitative research including descriptive, co correlational, and experimental research. Number one, contain measurable variables. Data gathering instruments contain items that solicit measurable characteristics of the population. These measurable characteristics are referred to as the variables of the study, such as age, the number of children, edu educational status, and economic status. Number two, Use standardized research instruments. The data collection instruments include questionnaires, polls, or surveys. Standardized pretested instruments guide data collection, thus ensuring the accuracy, reliability, and validity of data. Pretesting helps identify areas in the research instruments that need revisions. It makes sure that respondents provide the expected answer or satisfy the intent of the researcher to meet the research objectives. Number three, assume a normal population distribution. For more reliable data analysis of quantitative data, a normal population distribution curve is preferred over a non-normal distribution. This requires a large population, the numbers of which depend on how the characteristics of the population vary. This requires adherence to the principle of random sampling to avoid researcher bias in interpreting the results that defeat the purpose of research. Number four, present data in tables, graphs, or figures. The data obtained using quantitative methods are organized using tables, graphs, or figures that merge large numbers of data to show trends relationships or differences among variables. This fosters understanding of the readers or clients of the research investigation. Number five, use repeatable method. Researchers can repeat the quantitative method to verify or confirm the findings in another setting. This reinforces the validity of groundbreaking discoveries or findings, thus eliminating the possibility of spurious or erroneous conclusions. Number six, can predict outcomes. Quantitative models or formula derived from data analysis can predict outcomes. If then scenarios can be constructed using complex mathematical computations with the aid of computers. Number seven, use measuring devices. Advanced digital or electronic instruments are used to measure or gather quantitative data from the field. The instruments ensure an objective and accurate collection of data provided that these are calibrated. Calibration means that the instruments used by a researcher matches the measurements of a reference instrument that is considered a standard. Good day everyone. I am Ruel Arlabastida a grade 12 gas STEM student, and I am here to continue the discussion of Christian Marlo Piscos about quantitative research. Quantitative research classification refers to the process of categorizing research studies into different types based on their objective, design, and methodology. This classification helps researchers, academic institutions, and funding agencies understand and compare different types of research. It also helps to ensure that research studies are conducted and evaluated in a systematic and rigorous manner. Some common classifications of quantitative research include experimental studies, correlational studies, descriptive studies, and quasi-experimental studies. First, experimental research is often referred to as through experimentation. Experimental research uses the scientific method 
to establish the cause and effect relationship among a group of variables that make up a study. The true experiment is often thought of as laboratory study, but this is not always the case. A true experiment is any study where an effort is made to identify and impose control over all other variables except one. An independent variable is manipulated to determine the effects on the dependent variables. Subjects are randomly assigned to experimental treatments rather than identified in a naturally occurring groups. Example In an experimental design, a researcher gathers plant samples and then randomly assigns half the sample to photosynthesize in sunlight and the other half to be kept in a dark box without sunlight while controlling all the other variables, nutrients, water, soil, and etc. By comparing their outcomes in biochemical tests, the researcher can confirm that the changes in the plants were due to the sunlight and not the other variables. Second, correlational research. Attempts to determine the extent of a relationship between two or more variables using statistical data in this type of design relationship between and among a number of facts are sought and interpreted. This type of research will recognize trends and patterns in data, but it does not go so far in its analysis to prove causes for these observed patterns. The data relationships and distributions of variables are studied only. Variables are not manipulated. They are only identified and are studied as they occur in natural setting. Example. The correlation between the height of an individual and their weight tends to be positive. In other words, individuals who are taller also tend to weigh more. Third, descriptive research. Seeks to describe the current status of an identified variable. These research projects are designed to provide systematic information about a phenomenon. The researcher does not usually begin with an hypothesis, but is likely to develop one after collecting data. The analysis and synthesis of the data provide the best of the hypothesis systematic collection of information requires careful selection of the unit studied and careful measurement of each variable. Example, a description of how with seven students spend their time during summer vacation. And the last one is quasi-experimental research. Attempts to establish cause and effect relationship among the variables. These types of design are very similar to true experiments, but with some key differences. An independent variable is identified but not manipulated by the experimenter. And effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable are measured. The researcher does not randomly assign groups and must use ones that are naturally formed or pre-existing groups. Identified control groups exposed to the treatment variable are studied and compared to the group who are not. Example, the effect of part-time employment on the achievement of senior high school students. The importance of quantitative research. The quantitative research slides greatly in the production of results that should reflect precise measurement and an in-depth analysis of data. It is also useful in obtaining an objective understanding of people, things, places, and events in this world, meaning attaching accurate or, or exact meanings to objects or subjects rather than inflated meanings resulting from the researcher's bias or personal attachment to things related to the research. Requiring the use of reliable measurement, instruments, or statistical methods. A quantitative study enables people to study their surroundings as objective as they can. This kind of research is likewise an effective method to obtain information about specified personality traits of a group member or of the group as a whole as regards the extent of the relationship of their characteristics and the reason behind the instability of some people's characteristics.
Quantitative research versus qualitative research. Quantitative research and qualitative research are two distinct methods often used in research studies. While both methods aim to gather information and answer research questions, they differ in their approaches, data collection techniques, and analysis methods. Quantitative research involves the collection and an analysis of numerical data. This method uses statistical analysis to measure variables, establish patterns, and draw statistically significant conclusions. It often involves large sample sizes and aims to produce objective and generalizable results. Quantitative research is commonly used in experiments, surveys, and statistical analysis. Qualitative research, on the other hand, focuses on gathering and analyzing non-numerical data. This method aims to gain an in-depth understanding of individual experiences, perceptions, and meanings. It often involves conducting interviews, observations, and analyzing textual or visual data. Qualitative research focuses on capturing rich descriptions, examining context, and generating new theories or hypotheses. It is used to explore complex phenomena, understand social contexts, and gain insights into people's lived experiences. There are several key differences between quantitative and qualitative research. In terms of data collection, quantitative research relies on standardized surveys, experiments, or other structured instruments, while qualitative research employs open-ended interviews, observations, or analysis of documents. Another key difference is in generalizability. Quantitative research aims to generalize findings to a larger population, typically using probability sampling methods. In contrast, Qualitative research does not prioritize generalizability, but focuses on capturing and understanding specific cases or contexts. It is important to note that both quantitative and qualitative research have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice between the two depends on the research questions, the nature of the phenomenon being studied, and the goals of the study. In some cases, a mixed methods approach, combining both quantitative and qualitative methods, may be used to gain a comprehensive understanding of a research topic. That's all. Thank you.